So here we've got a 2005 Hyundai Auto that's um, spat out two codes. It's gone into it, came in in limp mode. Uh, it's got code 707, which is the range, range sensor or the inhibitor switch, and a 740, which is the torque converter solenoid. So we've plugged into the little the OBD plug under here and got a got a code or two codes now what we've done is we've pulled out all the well we've taken off the bat out the battery the battery support disconnected the radiator hose at the bottom just to give us a little bit more room uh, moved the, the air filter hose I've already removed the the inhibitor switch which is this unit here and underneath we've um, to just gain a little bit more access to the front pan which is just here where the solenoids are uh, enclosed on the valve body um, we've had to drop or lower the not drop but lower the subframe and I'll get to that in a moment Okay, here we are. We've I've loosened the subframe, taken off the the brackets that expose the there's a bolt under the under the actual bracket. There's a nut that goes on here that holds it. I haven't taken any of this off. Of uh, the motor and the transmission actually hangs. You can't really see where the the hangers are, but they're supported on the chassis. So the subframe taken off the bolts here. And it's just dropped down this far which has gained me enough room to get the, the pan or the side pan out and get to the solenoids but I haven't uh, you had to also I re removed the exhaust pipe um, just to, to give me a little bit more room I wasn't sure probably didn't even have to remove it because the subframe hasn't dropped down enough but I suppose most people remove this whole unit. You'd have to um, support the vehicle here properly, uh, remove the wheels, possibly remove the, the lower ball joints, or, or, or just these two bolts, see the side of the ball joint to, to free that all up. Um, there are the power steering bracket here needs to be removed or the brackets need to be undone so you don't end up uh, bending or or doing damage to the power steering hose anyway I've just put a chock in here with a block of wood it's not under under load if it was under load I'd probably do it a little bit better so if that does pop out it's not going to crush my fingers or anything it's just very lightly under load you can see I just pull it down it's just to hold it down so I can gain better access to the front pan. Okay, we're just going to uh, remove the drain plug here. Yeah. Let all the fluid out so when we take the front cover it doesn't go all over us. Now I've got the tray there. You can see there's a magnet on there. Oh, sorry. There's a magnet on there that's coated in all the fine metal that's floating around in there. The oil's pretty dark as well. Let me just try a little bit. Yeah, the front cover's elastic on there. You might be tempted to use a screwdriver to try and pry it off. But this tin is pretty thin, so you'll end up bending it out of shape and then later on you might have leak problems. So what I do, I've got this little scraper that I've made up. It's, it's, it's fairly, fairly strong and I just basically go and gently tap, tap wherever I can reach and on top and it'll actually pry it off and loosen it as you can see without doing any damage. Okay, we've got the cover off. Now, the culprit that's giving us the code is this 
this solenoid here, which is the, the lower passenger side, well, in a right hand drive vehicle, passenger side, left hand side of the vehicle, um, the torque converter clutch or the damp, damper clutch um, solenoid. The one above it is second, and then there's one up here that is the underdrive. On the other side, we have the lower one is lower in reverse, and the one above that is the overdrive. Now, if you don't have to take the, the valve body out, if you're just going to replace the solenoids, I wouldn't advise taking the valve body off because there are springs and little plungers that will come off when you, when you undo these bolts. Um, what you do is they have these little brackets here that hold a rubber seal on the solenoid. So if we take these bolts off, there's one in the middle there and one on the top on this side. On the other side, there'll be one on the bottom, one between each of the solenoids and one at the top. And then that bracket will slide off and then you can pull the solenoids out. Okay, I've taken off the the four little 8mm bolts here. Now this bracket that holds the solenoid just comes off, like so. That's it there. And now we can just pop the, slowly work the solenoid. It's just caught on the O-rings. Oh, I might have to put the camera down and use two hands I thought it would come out a little bit easier but anyway they they just slide out like that and in this case this this solenoid's giving us a code um, but we're going to replace all the solenoids because they're electromagnets the solenoid and they collect the fine metal that is suspended in the transmission that's why it's so important to to do a service every 20,000 kilometres they recommend or once a year. Um, the magnet on the drain plug that I showed you is only effective if, uh, if it's fairly clean. If, if it's covered in the metallic debris that's suspended in the oil um, in, from normal wear and tear in the transmission, that fine metal will be attracted to the coils and then give you either shorting out or uh, sticky valves in the solenoid. So it's important to service the transmission regularly.